five contracts. Okay, we sold the short put for two fifteen, and bought the long put for a dollar thirty. So my total net credit on the position was four twenty five. Um, we received about a thousand dollars plus for selling the short put, and it cost us about six hundred and fifteen dollars or so to buy the long put, or six hundred and fifty for the long put. So our total net credit was four twenty five. If I went to liquidate this spread right now, what the portfolio is showing me is the current gain or loss or liquidation on the position right now. The current price of my short put is 25 cents. So if I went to liquidate it right now, I have five contracts. Um, so it would cost me $125 to buy to close my short puts. But then I'm going to receive five cents for selling to close the long puts for five contracts. So I'll receive twenty-five dollars back. So it'll cost me one twenty-five to buy to close the short puts, and I'll receive twenty-five dollars for buy and close the long puts. So right now, if I liquidated the position, I'd have to pay a hundred dollars to close both puts. This four twenty-five minus four twenty-five when I sold the credit that was put into my account immediately. So now if I close it for a hundred, I still keep three hundred and twenty-five dollars of the $425 credit we were, I collected up front. So I've made 76.5% of what I expected to make. However, I can also choose to leave it open for the next 17 days. And if the stock stays above 105, we'd receive that full profit. Okay, so I have a position here. It looks like one of those alerts has been triggered that I put into the uh, position. So what I wanna do now is I looked at the alert to see which one was triggered. But now I want to say to myself, okay, I looked at the liquidation value, looked at my future expiration value. Are there any adjustments I could potentially make on this position? So what I'll do is I'll use that more information button here. When I go into position actions in the portfolio, I can choose to close the position, close the leg, delete the position if I'm just doing a paper trade, for example. Um, I can roll a leg and so forth. We want to link to right now is the position analysis screen. The position analysis screen will give you a breakdown of your current position. And it'll show you based on your original values um, where your position stands right now. So here at the top again is sort of the breakdown of that FF5V position. Um, originally paid 215, I'm sorry, originally sold the short put for 215, bought the long put for $1.30. My break even was 104.15. Here's our profit and loss chart over on the right. Original net credit was 85 cents, but remember this 85 cents times five contracts, um, and my original maximum risk was 415. So it just gives me a review of the position. As I scroll down further, we can get a little bit more in-depth view of the original position value that we saw in the portfolio is 425, that's the credit we received. Our current liquidation value season, I think this is more along the lines of the verbiage you were looking for, a current liquidation value would be negative $100. We have to pay a debit of $100. Um, so our current liquidation profit would be $325. And if we held the position to expiration and the stock remained at the same price, we'd of course make the full profit of $425. Now as I scroll down further, we're shown some potential Condor opportunities on the FF5 uh, position or the FF5V position. So we have a position that's profitable. We had sold the 105 put and bought the 100. And now we're showing we can convert this to a condor um, by selling maybe a 165 call for 20 cents ugh, and a 180 call for 10 cents. So we're going to receive 10 cents of net credit just to bolster our return, but this is actually a 15 point spread. That doesn't really match what I'm looking for. So I can just look at some of the other comparisons. Um, here's one where the stock's at 138. You've got a 150 call that we could sell for $1.50, and then a 155 call that would cost 95. So we're adding almost an additional 91 cents, um, almost a dollar of net credit to this position, and we still have a 78% probability below. Well, it's great to see it numerically, but what if I want to compare this position and see what it would do to my initial bull put credit spread graphically? Okay, well, let's take a look at that 150, 155 call. I'll click that little more information button there next to this rollout opportunity, this condor adjustment opportunity, and we'll select simulate trade from that position analysis screen. What the simulate trade feature shows us is over on the left, I'm showing the original profit and loss for my bull put credit spread. Um, 
we again we have the maximum profit of 425. Uh, let me get the highlighter out there. I apologize. Let's do it that way. My original maximum profit of 425. Right now, my current return is about uh, 15 percent, and the maximum return if the stock stays above 105 would be about 20.5 percent. And still, of course, maximum risk of 2,075. Now, over on the right in the blue corner, we're shown what would happen to our position now that we're contemplating adding this bear call credit spread to create an iron condor. Well, now we have an upper and a lower break even on our position. Our maximum risk is now 1,800. Uh, the percent maximum return is 700, so we've moved it up from 425 to 700. Uh, to increase our total percentage return on the position. And as I scroll down below, we can see that graphically. Well, let me clear this up real quick. The red line, of course, the red hockey stick chart, this is just our original bull put credit spread. And then the blue chart that's laying on top of it, this is what the new position would look like if I added the iron condor. So what we've essentially done here, by adding a bear call credit spread to our existing position to create the condor, is we've moved our profit and loss plateau up to a higher level. But at the same time, we've capped, uh, we sort of have a position now where we have an upper break even and our lower break even as well. Um, so now we have to look at this position and say, well, I still think uh, FFIV is going to stay above my short put strike price at expiration and my bull put would be profitable. Is it worth it for me to enter into this iron condor? if I have any thought that stock might continue to move up in price. If I think FFIV might continue up and move above 150 by December expiration, I naturally wouldn't do this position. However, if I think it's going to stay within this range, it's going to stay above 105 and below um, 150, for example, and I'm comfortable with the net credit that it's going to add into my position, this might be an opportunity that I would consider adjusting to. Now, in addition to that, that's just looking at uh, some of the adjustments for the tracking the a bull put credit spread in the portfolio and looking at potential rollout opportunities. But all of that's available for all 23 strategies we support. If I'm tracking a married put um, and I look at it in the portfolio, I can go to that position analysis screen to see potential adjustments or rollout opportunities. I'm tracking a cover call, naked put, for example. I can go through the same processes. I can set different alerts. I can link to the analysis screen to view potential rollout opportunities and then compare them graphically as well so I can see what my position want to do. All right. Well, that's our basic introduction presentation. I'm going to navigate back over to our slideshow. Um, just have a few slides to wrap up with, uh, just some recap material. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and start writing them into the question pod, and we'll stay online here for another five, ten, or five or ten minutes or so, go to maybe about quarter after one. Um, but let me just review here why power options. Well, you get a patented search of over 23 different strategies. Tools allow you to search across the universe of options. Um, you can customize the searches based on a variety of criteria in each strategy. And then you can also customize the screen view. Remember, we use that see more or less columns to select the different uh, data columns that we wanted to view for our research and analysis. We can compare the various strategies using the profit and loss chart to run the catastrophe report or using the one strike tool to look at different probabilities and combinations whether I'm looking at a credit spread or a collar spread for example or if I'm doing covered calls even. Um, after I've identified a position I can use a search by symbol tool to compare the probability versus risk versus return. And then those powerful portfolio tools to help you paper trade, track, and manage the position, set alerts as well, and look at potential rollout opportunities. All the heavy lifting is done for you. Um, being able to search to just find those positions that match your personal risk-reward tolerance, your probability preference, and then when you're tracking in the portfolio, all the math is done for you for the rollout opportunities, and you can see them graphically um, as well as numerically. We also offer toll-free customer and email support. Um, the access to the historical data you have during your trial accounts, but um, <clears throat> that's an additional fee, of course. It's, uh, I'll describe that in just a minute. And then, of course, you also have the help articles and strategy pages. Now, our subscription service is the 20-minute delayed service. It gives you access to all of the tools on the tool menu, all 23 different strategies and all available search and analysis tools. But with 20-minute delayed quotes, it's only $59.95 per month. And then, of course, you get a discounted annual rate, so it'd be $600 for the year. So essentially, you're paying for 10 months but receiving 12 months of service. 
The real-time service, again, gives you access to all the tools on the tool menu with those real-time quotes. Instead of 20-minute delayed, is $79.90 per month, or of course, $800 for the year. Now, access to the historical data is not included on the 20-minute delayed or the real-time subscription. If you're, uh, I'm sorry, if you're subscribed to the 20-minute delayed or the real-time, you can add the historical suite of tools, a three-month access for $99.95 which works out to be about $33 per month. However, if you're already on the real-time service, it's actually cheaper just to upgrade to the professional level of service. Um, it's only about $20 more per month. It's $99.99. The professional level of service includes everything you had on the real-time service plus unlimited access to the historical suite of tools. And of course, the professional level of service also has the discounted annual rate. Now in the Power Store, I mentioned that earlier when we were on the main home menu, there are a variety of educational products there. The covered call course, won't go too in-depth into that. No one said that they were doing covered calls and naked puts today. But this is a book, a DVD, and a workbook that was written by Ernie and Greg Zarenner. Um, the purchase includes two free months of power options. It's about the total cost with shipping of the covered call course is about $210. I believe it's $209.90. But that includes two free months of power options service. Uh, the blueprint, of course, is a full guidebook, is a full uh, sort of methodology that was written by Kurt Frankenberg on using a unique form of the married put system and then applying 10 different income methods on it to cancel the at risk. And then, of course, we also have a variety of low cost books loaded with information, um, one on naked puts and one on protective option strategies using married puts and collars. Each of these books, I believe, is about uh, $13 or about $12.95. Um, and then there's the Iron Condors book, as I mentioned, that was written by Mike Phillips and Ernie Zarenner. Mike Phillips is the head analyst over at Power Options Applied, uh, and that's about 1995. These books not only discuss our philosophies on the different strategies, but they also go through how to use the Power Options tools to implement those strategies as well. Now, as we mentioned in the beginning, Power Options is a suite of tools designed for self-directed options investors. If you feel you're not ready to be self-directed, we do have an advisory newsletter service, Power Options Applied. Um, they offer several trade folios. There's an iron condor portfolio, covered call, double diagonal, for example. Um, there's one that uses collars on ETFs. Um, they pick the trades and send emails to their subscribers once they're going to roll the positions or adjust the positions. You can read more about that at poweroptionsapplied.com. And then, of course, Kurt Frankenberg, the gentleman I just mentioned who wrote the blueprint, um, who came up with the original idea of the unique form of the married put technique. Um, if you wanted to follow that, you could uh, subscribe to Fission, uh, his service, which allows you to follow over his shoulder and watch him as he implements his trades in real time in the market. And you can read more about that at RadioactiveTrading.com. And of course, I just want to review our upcoming free webinars. Every Friday at 4.30, we host that open discussion. I don't have any planned material to teach. Um, I just, anyone can join us and uh, ask as many questions as you want. And I'll just use the Power Options tools to answer your questions. Typically, every Wednesday at 12 noon, I do host the Introduction to Power Options presentation. It varies um, from week to week, depending on who, or which strategy, I should say, uh, wins out in the poll that we asked earlier. And then, of course, every Tuesday and Thursday, Kurt Frankenberg, every Tuesday and Thursday at 12 noon Eastern, I should say, Kurt Frankenberg hosts his Introduction to Radioactive Trading. Now, coming up in the new year, coming up in January, we're going to have other webinars during the week, some that are strategy-specific um, in the evenings, maybe Thursdays at 9 o'clock or Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, we also might be doing some Tuesday evenings as well, around 9 p.m. Eastern Time or 6 p.m. Eastern Time, depending on the schedule. Now, of course, if I mentioned you have any questions, you can contact us contact us at any time. You can send us an email to support at poweropt.com or you can reach us uh, toll-free during market hours if you live in the continental U.S. at 877-992-7971. And if you live outside the continental U.S., you can reach us at 302-992-7971. There are contact links at the bottom of every page. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's essentially all I had for you today. Um, I don't see any other questions coming through while I was wrapping up. And we are about 15 minutes past our scheduled time. So I just want to remind you, if you think of any questions later, go ahead and send me an email. Again, support at powerop.com. Or give us a call at the toll-free number. It's 877-992-7971 uh, or 302-992-7971. Uh, Susan, thank you for your questions. I'm glad you got a lot of uh, useful information out of the presentation. I hope to see you again soon. 
And that goes for everyone else. Great, happy trading, everyone. I hope to see you at one of our next free presentations. Please let me know if you have any questions. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. We'll see you soon. Good night.